Hi, this is Jacob from Hillcrest RC Flyers, and today I'll be talking about a couple of the mods I've done to the Airwing uh, Wing Surfer X2. This is going to be kind of a short video because we only have um, three mods. Uh, the first one I'll talk about is flaps. I ordered a couple servos and I had some laying around. I was one day, I was looking at this. I decided it needed some flaps. So I put some flaps on there. I got two of these uh, Tower Pro 9 gram servos. Just cut a little hole with the uh, pliers and soldering gun and got those. I'm using a flight test control horns because those are pretty cool. And they work amazingly. Um, I'll show you. They go down pretty far. This isn't full. I had to restrict, uh, had to, I guess you could say, restrict them. From going down all the way because if I put them down all the way, I'll be flying, put the flaps down, and it goes like shoo. so a little too much. So I took those away a little bit and I had a mix in here to where when I flip the switch, it gives a little bit of down elevator automatically, and that really helps a lot. Uh, this plane glides really well, seeing that it's a glider, so I usually have to come in from pretty far to land it where I want it to. Now I can uh, come in on a sharp turn. Level out, put the flaps down, give some nose down, and this plane will just, it's like braking in the air, basically. It's like, stops, and soft landing. It's really cool. Really good for uh, the wind slope soaring. I can go straight into the wind, put my flaps down, and just float there. And it's really cool. And, and it just, it really helps, and it's just a really, another fun thing to mess around with while you're flying. That took about an hour to do. It's really not hard. All you need to do is a Y harness, two servos push rods and you know a lot of gliders will come like this but the ailerons kind of far out on the tips so we have plenty of room to make your flaps so what I did I just took all the extra room and made those my flaps so they'll work uh, have a really big effect and uh, they worked it worked out worked out great so that's the first mod second mod lights very easy to install JST uh, let's see if I can find one around here uh, I don't know, but maybe we'll talk about it in another video. It's a harness, Deans to Deans, with a JST tapped into the middle. So I can power the lights optionally, so I don't have to have them on all the time. Uh, those work great. I have red and blue, but I also need to put some lights on the top so I can, you know, see it. So what I do for right now is I just fly it in the evening, so it's not, you know, pitch dark. Third and last is the GoPro. It comes with the plastic on the cockpit taped. So, it's, I mean, they didn't glue it, so all you have to do is take off tape, and you have an FPV platform right here. Perfect. So what I did, put the bow curl at the bottom of my GoPro, put it on right here. It's great. It stays on there just fine. Velcro came off right now, so that's what I want to show you. Um, yeah, that works great. What I have, since this plane really handles nose weight really well, I'll use the stock 1300, put the GoPro on, Demonstrate this, and the F I can just put my FPV gear on top of the GoPro. Uh, 200 milliwatt system, I think 200 or 500, back against the back. Camera over the GoPro, that that's great. That'll give you great uh, video of your FPV flying. Uh, these are the video. These are the, so these are the mods we've done to the Wing Surfer Glider. Uh, maybe in our next video or upcoming videos, we'll uh, will be some flight with the lights and the flaps and the GoPro and the FPV. Um, hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments if there's any questions you have about this plane and its capabilities. Thanks for watching.